How do you know that you have a phone addiction? Number one, you are being told by others. So your significant other uh, keeps complaining that you're spending too much time on the phone, you're spending too much time on social media, then you need to check yourself in the mirror, especially if you find yourself becoming irritated, frustrated, angry, and defensive when somebody says that you are addicted to the phone. Number two, you can look and see whether you are getting late in completing your tasks because you are spending too much time on the phone. Especially if you your phone is a way of escape, that is an indicator that something is going on that uh, you need to be aware of and you need to start managing better. Then uh, the other thing you want to look at is that you are finding yourself using your phone at work. So you are doing your task, but you keep looking at your phone, you keep going on WhatsApp, trying to follow what is going on there. Now, that is an indicator, again, that you are getting into an addiction to the phone. The other thing that uh, is very, very telling, especially to the younger generation, is when you are staying up late, especially if you are just following social media, you are on Facebook, you are on YouTube, just looking through. Those are indicators that uh, you are getting yourself out of control. You are, your phone use, your social media consumption is getting out of control. So you are not sleeping well. In the morning, you wake up and you're very tired because you've been on the phone till uh, 1 or 2 in the morning. If uh, you find yourself unable to uh, stay focused on tasks that need your mental ability for a long time, but you get bored, you get sidetracked. You are, when you use your, your phone uh, to escape, uh, the reality of your life where uh, you have stressors, you're not dealing with them. So you escape into the phone. For instance, you know very well that you are in a relationship, and but then you are not doing your duties because you are constantly on the phone. You need to be very careful because then you are being sucked into uh, some addiction with the phone and it is causing you not to play the role you're supposed to play. And most of us, including myself, we are also, um, uh, we, we are victims of that. You know, going to the toilet with the phone, that's another thing. You always have your phone with you. If you cannot find your phone and, and you feel lost, then you know that and you feel frustrated and you are panicking because you don't know where your phone is, then you know that you have some issues being addicted to that gadget. So we need to be very careful. There are those of us also who are shunning uh, physical meetings with people, social, socializing, connecting with people physically. Even when you go to a social gathering and we are sitting in the social gathering, but I am on my phone. Instead of uh, engaging with people physically, I am more engaging, engaged with the phone. What happens sometimes is that I'm not even talking to anybody on the phone. So what, I'm, what am I doing on the phone? I'm just browsing through. Our ability to connect physically with people is being compromised and so we are not able to connect with our kids, we are not able to connect with our spouses, we are not able to connect with our friends or our colleagues, we get bored quickly. If we are not very careful, eventually our relationships are going to be impacted negatively by that. So watch your, your phone intake uh, create boundaries for yourself. Take time to uh, create schedules for yourself when you need to be on the phone and when you need to focus on what uh, you need to focus on. Turn off the phone every now and then. If you are concerned about your, your usage of the phone, why don't you pay attention? Take one or two days and pay attention to how much time you stay on the phone. Feel free to reach out to me. Uh, my website is on the screen.